everybody my name is Betty and here is a random video so I've been seeing on Facebook and wherever about the feta cheese and tomato dish and how people customize them and whatever so my customization today will be shrimp so we're gonna make that today and you're gonna come along and see how I do and Disclaimer, I don't actually like cooking because of the cleanup, but I decided I was in the mood today and I wanted to cook this and share it with all of you. So that's what we're going to do today. The first step is to wash your tomatoes. So I have Sunset Organic tomatoes. Nice and Plumpy. So we're going to wash these bad boys. So the next step is we are to put it in our dish. This is the dish I'm going to be using. It's fairly deep because um, I've seen that in other videos that their shallow dish gets like really full and almost overflows. So I didn't want that to happen. So, and so what they do next is they put olive oil over everything. And then just a little, cause I'm doing a little bunch. There's only two people in my family. And so coat it, right? And then we do some pepper and let's say we do some salt um, and then I have this garlic pepper that I'm going to put in it, spicing it up my own way. And then I am going to put minced onions in there. Couple good shakes. Couple good shakes. All right. And then I'm going to stir it all up. I'm going to stir it all up. Make sure that the seasoning is all over everything. Okay. Uh, preheat your oven to 400. Maybe a little bit bigger of a pan would be nice. Going, going, going. All right, so I've heard the people doing this two different ways. One, you put it in there and you do the seasoning over top of it again or you just kind of swish it around in the pan flip it and then um, all that stuff so um, the method I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the pan swish it around make sure the seasoning gets all over it and make sure it's even with the tomatoes I think I got one stuck under there Okay, so I think that looks good. You guys want to see what it looks like? So as my oven preheats, I'm going to just kind of set this to the side and get out in the street. 
shrimp. I don't know that I'm doing the whole bag. doesn't reseal. And we'll do the whole bag. rinse it and make sure it's like pretty much thawed because I am cheating. I've got peeled, divined, tail off, extra small, cooked to shrimp. So all I basically do have to toss it in there. You just want it to be thawed, right? So once my oven is preheated, then we will start cooking the noodles while this bakes for 25 minutes. Woot All right, the oven is preheated. So now we're gonna pop this in the oven and get this going. We're gonna start. Now that the one pot is in the oven and I've got my water on the stove starting, as soon as it comes to a boil, we're going to put our pasta in and I'm using Bonanza. Then it's a high protein um, noodle. So, and we really like those. All right, guys. So my water is to a boil. You can see all that. Um... So I'm going to put my noodles in and give it a stir. We still got about 16 minutes left on the tomatoes and feta. All right, guys. So the noodles are just about done. We have like 12 minutes left on the feta. So because the shrimp is fully cooked, we just want to warm it up. I'm going to put it in with my pasta while it finishes cooking so it can get toasty and be warm versus going into the dish cold. Is this proper etiquette? I don't know. We're only doing shrimp, so I think it'll be fine. I'm not a professional. I do as I please. Oh boy. Now we'll just wait for this to boil back up. Cold shrimp, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. All right, we got about five minutes left on the tomatoes and feta, and the noodles and the shrimp are done and resting. This is going to be delicious. So my kid loves ketchup and tomato soup. She does not like actual tomatoes or anything like that. So I'm really curious how she's going to... Um, take this. 
made a deal with her that she had to take two bites before she adds a condiment to it. And it'd be really funny if she adds ketchup on top of it. <laughs> All right, we have about three minutes left on the tomatoes and feta. And some videos say you broil it for a few minutes to give it that charred look. So we're going to try that. We're going to switch to broil for the last three minutes and see how it goes. All right. So the next instruction is to mash the tomatoes and the feta together. It looks good. I can't say that I'm a I've never had feta before. So you just mash them until it creates like a paste. Mmm. Alright, hopefully this is what they mean. All that olive oil in there. Alright, we're gonna take our noodles and shrimp. Pour it in there. This made a lot, so I think this is more like six servings for people. I don't know. So, yeah, there's still a lot in there. So, that tasted good. Forgot to grab a fork earlier. All right. So here's the moment. So here's some shrimp, a noodle, a tomato, all in one bite. It's almost like actual tomato sauce. Like, I don't know, it's, it's really good, but Maybe with the tomato, it makes it taste more like a tomato sauce is covering everything. I think it's really good. Really good. And the shrimp just adds more to it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was really good. So my assumption with the amount that I have, it's about six servings. So according to the app where I put all the ingredients in, it'd be 185 calories per serving with like 14 grams of protein, which is good when you're trying to get protein in. So yeah, I'm really happy and how it turned out. Thanks for watching and watching me cook. <laughs>